Welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm here to show you how to import a 3D model from SolidWorks software to 3D Studio Max. Uh, just pay attention. Uh, for example, this is my 3D model. I've created this 3D model on, 3D, on SolidWorks software. It's a tank, it's a simple model. And now, uh, for example, you can see some uh, modifier I assigned this model for uh, have a more diff more detail or make it better so um, I want to import this 3D model to 3D Studio Max for rendering or uh, anything so uh, my first step is actually first of all you must go on file file panel and actually choose save as which is here we have uh, so many file formats here for example dwg for autocad software or auto photoshop files.psd software anything or jpg it's a picture also um, you can import and actually export any software uh, format uh, about your 3d model on solidworks but um, i suggest you please use the uh, uh, default formats as SOLIDWORKS part uh, actually that PRT or SLD PRT files formats it's very good and so cool uh, because you know the Studio Studio Max supports all of the the formats of 3D model even part of a PRT so uh, I export it I, let me save it with the file name for example tank and on my desktop and click on save just it's saved here and now I can go to 2D Studio Max it's so easy adjust you have uh, a few ways to import the 2D model on 2D Studio Max so, number one you can go on this panel and here you can go and import and select import if you if you want to import a 3d model uh, with the formats of 3d studio max like a 3ds or fbx you can select on merge to import that model if your model formats is for another software like a solidworks or blender or any software you must choose import also you can see here here import non negative native files formats in a 3 ds max so uh, so I choose import and go to my uh, main address for example here our desktop and choose tank and I'll wait for it okay on this panel you can see import settings a convert to mesh uh, if you put this parameter to on it's better and I suggest you enable this parameter actually put on on app access Z up X uh, uh, I suggest you use a default Z up Z axis is better. Uh, here you can see Z axis is for height and it's better. So uh, on up axis choose Z. Hierarchy mode uh, I don't have any information about it. Just I suggest you uh, put it on flatten, flatten it so it's better. Yeah. The default setting is better also mesh resolution resolution actually if you put it on less uh, your model actually is a low poly model and maybe it's not good I suggest you uh, put it on middle of the average and more for example here it's good and also on service keep dummy my notes uh, I suggest you please use it because it's uh, so important and if it's enabled just do it and I select the import now wait for this model and is it it's importing on the 3d studio max just wait because it's a little high poly the too much poly so it can uh, spend your time okay here this is my 3d model it's really good just you can see the pivot of the center of this model 
I choose rotate and here the angle snap view and um, rotate it 90 degree degrees and then move it up it's really good and also here this is our mesh detail it's so nice in it's very so it's one way actually we have a 200 thousand 200,000 police uh, polygons on this model it's very 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 actually much <laughs> it's very it has a pretty so much polygons and also if it has a if it has, if it has a problem and make your actually file Crashing and going out of 3D Studio Max, I suggest you use a proxy, V-Ray proxy of your model. So it's the one, it's the first way to import your 3D model on 3D Studio Max. The number two is a go on the that file here. You can see this file tank, and this part, this file format is PRT. You can see here SolidWorks part document. S L D P R T. So, and now I choose it, and click and drag this sub, uh, this file to any software. Also, trade it to Max. And here, you can see here, it's importing, and you can put this model to anywhere you like. For example, here, and then you can use it, also rotate it or anything. And the next step, I, I suggest you use it and learn it. If you want to assign any stuff, uh, any texture or any material to your 3D model, it's no problem. Just go on material editor. And uh, do you know, all of the models uh, imports from, imported from SolidWorks uh, are wrapped. And you can import your texture and materials to that object. Uh, with any problem for example the other bad texture for example um, um, smoke smoke map and maps general and here you can see smoke and I assign this map to this model and also enable the showing on the viewport and for example size of this map 2 3 Um, okay, I got it. Wait, I assign the unwrap modifier to this model. Unwrap UBW, you can see it's unwrapped. But you have a problem. Do you know what's your problem? It's right. Out of this, uh, polygons are generating out of the UV space. For example, I so I choose all of the our polygons and then pack they in the our UV space. So it's it's a very very important point for unwrapping. So you can see these are in a uh, space UV space. It's very good. And so now I can. Uh, we use it for example half of one half of one zero point five and it's unwrapped and very good it doesn't have any uh, UV problem and it's very good I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and like it please subscribe our channel on YouTube or on our website and also share our tutorial on uh, YouTube or website please uh, with the name of trainer man our website is harmontrady.ir and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and like it please subscribe our channel and goodbye